Hey lovelies, it's Cinnamon with the Stiletto Series and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own Twitter header with Pixlar.com which is a free um, photo editing software. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to open the editor, you're going to go to create a new image and the size for Twitter he headers are 1200 by 600. So let's hit OK on that. So we have this white background which you can definitely keep as a white background. I'm actually going to change the color a bit. So I'm going to go here, and I wanted a little bit of an orange. I'm not a designer, so if this color matches is appropriate, I couldn't even tell you, but let's go with that. All right, so you're going to go here to the paint bucket, and you're going to fill it just like that. And so I want to bring in, in this case, I'm bringing in my book image, but if you have a business, you can bring in your logo, whatever the kind of brand, whatever your uh, Twitter page is doing. So open image, and let's go with photo. And okay, so there's my photo, and I'm going to drag it in here, and so there it is. And I want to place it, so I'm going to go here to the arrow, and I want to place my book all the way over here in the corner. And you'll see why in a bit, because Twitter does some weird thing where they put your image in the middle and it just looks kind of crazy. So let me fix, go back to the paint bucket so I can get this white around it. So as you can see the edges look a little raggedy. So let's fix that. I'm going to go here to the eraser. You can do this with the eraser or the brush. In fact, let me do it with the brush. And you can clean up these edges. Okay. Now you're going to want to get close and zoom it out a bit so that you can get really, really, uh oh, sorry. Let's throw this down. So you can get the edges and this brush is still a little too big for me so let's go here and clean this up a bit. So I'm going to clean this up and I don't want to waste time so I'll go ahead and pause this and clean this up and then come right back to you. Okay now that I tried to kind of clean up all of those rough spots and again go to the brush and if you really are want to have it to the smallest point you can clean up those spots by just choosing your brush. All right, so that's about much effort as I'm going to put into cleaning that up. So let's reduce the size a bit. Okay, cool. So that's what it is. All right, so now let me save it and click here. And I'm just make sure this goes to 100%. I'm not sure why it doesn't default on that. And I'm just going to save this as Twitter header. All right, I'm going to hit OK and save. All right, so now I'm going to go over to the Twitter page, and this is the Twitter page that I have. You're going to go over here to Settings, and then Design. Oh, I was apparently already on the page. And here you're going to go to Change Header. You can also change your background if you want to, and we'll try to do that in another video. So I'm going to choose the header. I'm going to hit Save. And then we're going to check it out. So this also works if people are looking at your Twitter page on your mobile as well. Oh, wait. Okay, there it is. All right, so if you see my, my uh, book is over here. If you wanted to put a picture of yourself, the author, you could do that, or your business, your logo. This is going to automatically default to whatever you have as your, um, your bio and, of course, your website. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave your comments and questions at the bottom, and hopefully I can answer them for you. So thanks so much. Until next time.